Hey guys, it's Google 5 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Windows XP over any other operating system. So, this operating system could be Windows 7, Ubuntu, some distro of Linux, Windows 3.1 if you even wanted, whatever. Um, so, anyways, let's get right to it. So, basically what you want to do is boot from the Windows XP disk. So, you will need a Windows XP disk, um, and you want to boot from that. Now, most computers, if you just put it in the drive and start uh, the computer, it'll automatically boot from the disk. But some computers have a hotkey, you'll have to find that out yourself, can't help you with that. Anyway, so what you want to do is you want to start your computer, and since I'm installing this, wait, no, just a second. Uh, sorry about that, I'm just... Okay, so, anyways, I'm gonna boot from the disk. Now it's gonna say press any key to boot from CD, press, obviously, press any key. And now this here might take a few minutes to load, so I'll come back when it's done loading. Okay, so it's almost done loading, it's just starting windows, it says. Set up a starting windows. And now it says to set up Windows XP now, press enter, so obviously you're gonna wanna press enter. Whoops. Just a second, okay, enter. And you can get the license agreement, just press F8. Okay, now here you're going to, um, you might see a couple of listings here. Um, basically what you want to do to any of them that say like partitions or anything, you want to press the D and then press enter and then L. And it should go to unpartitioned space. So uh, you don't need to do this on ones that already say unpartitioned space, just the other ones. So D, sometimes you don't need to press enter. This one you just need to press L, but it says uh, to delete this partition, press L. So, L, you just deleted those partitions, so now we have a blank hard drive. Um, so it should say un unpartitioned space, that should be the only thing that's in there, unless you're doing a dual boot, which is risky, but that should be the only thing that's in there, is the unpartitioned space. So now you're going to want to press enter, and format the partition using the NTFS file system quick. You can choose the other one just to format it, but not quick, uh, but this one's a lot faster, so um, if you really have all the time to go with the other one, I would recommend the other one, but, you know. And now this is going to start installing. So um, I'll come back when this is done, because this might take a while, so... I'll come back when this is done. Okay, so now your computer should automatically restart. Uh, if it doesn't, then try restarting it yourself. And if that doesn't work, then something went wrong during the install. So now, um, yeah. So it'll restart. And it'll say press any key to boot from CD. Do not boot from the CD. And you'll see the Microsoft Windows XP logo. Now, depending on the version that you're installing, it might show something a bit different. Uh, it'll still be the Windows XP logo, but the blue bar at the bottom might be uh, green or something. And now that should bring you to this window here. Now, this will take about 10 minutes before you'll have to input anything. Uh, so I'm going to go and I'll come back when the prompt screen comes up um, asking for a bunch of information. Okay, so about 10 minutes have gone by and I'm at this screen here now. This is a prompt screen. It's going to prompt you to in, um, insert all sorts of information. Uh, now the first one is regional language options. Uh, and this will just basically... Uh, what kind of, I guess, format you want Windows XP to be in, like what language. 
And then uh, this changes your keyboard layout. So if you have a keyboard other than the US keyboard, you want to press on details and you can change it here. So now you want to click next. And normally there it would ask you for your product key. This is a recovery install disk from Dell. So uh, mine doesn't need a product key, but yours probably will. Um, and I'm sure you guys have that. Don't ask me for a product key, I don't have one, so don't ask me for that. Now here we want to input your name and organization. I'm just going to leave organization blank because obviously I am not part of an organization. And choose your computer name. Uh, this will, I guess it's just for networking issues, and then an administrator password for your main administrator account. Click on next, and here you choose the date and time. So I don't know why it says 802, it's 12.06 right now. Um, and then the date is right, and my time zone is... Eastern time. And now if Windows XP, you're going to want to uncheck this box here uh, because this was made before they changed the uh, daylight savings time um, regulations. So uncheck that um, because it will change the date at, sorry, not the date, it will change the time at the wrong uh, date. So you want to change that. Click on next. And now I think... There might be another prompt, but I think you just let do it thing and take about half an hour right now, um, and you just let it, let it do its thing, and it'll install Windows XP. Actually, there's a networking prompt. When that comes up, I'll come back. Okay, guys, so now as you can see, it is uh, almost done setting up. I have three minutes left, it says. Normally, it will go a bit faster than that, but... Um, for some reason, the network prompt never came up, uh, but it's pretty straightforward. All you really need to do is um, press next if you're not a very good, or not a very good, if you're not really an advanced computer user, all you really need to do is, well, my computer's just starting, that's good. Hope yours does that too. Anyway, so if you're not really sure, um, what to put, just press next at each prompt, or if you're a more advanced user and know what you're doing, uh, set it up the way that you would like. So as you can see, my computer just restarted, and it should be fully installed now, Windows XP. Uh, right now we're going to get a prompt asking us to set up a few things, and then we'll be able to use Windows XP. So let's just wait for that prompt to come up. And this here might pop up, just click on OK, and I'm just going to have to resize. Actually, you know what, I won't press OK to that, but you're going to want to press OK. It's just because I am recording using a virtual PC, and if I click OK to that, I'm going to have to resize the window. Okay, so now either a prompt will come up asking you to make a username and password, which normally comes up. But for some reason, I don't know, this Windows XP install that I did is pretty weird. It didn't show up with a lot of stuff, but anyways, if yours does like mine did, and just administrator comes up, um, just type in your administrator password, click enter, or hit go, whatever. For you though, I think a prompt will come up, it'll ask you to make up some usernames and everything, and um just do a bunch of stuff. Uh, it might ask you also to set up your internet connection, uh, if you want to enable Windows Firewall, if you want to enable Windows Update, which I recommend yes to everything. Now the first thing that will pop up when you log in is this. Click on the balloon. And virus protection not found. Click on recommendations and check this box here. I have an antivirus. Yeah, sorry. I have an antivirus. I, an antivirus program that I'll monitor myself. I almost said antibiotics there. Um, so have an an and also this ticket to our Windows XP, you want to click that or else it'll just come up every time you log in. But I have an antivirus program that I'll monitor myself. Check that and click on OK. So that balloon won't come up anymore. 
My fears did like mine did, and it didn't let you set up any um, account. What you want to do is click on Start Control Panel, User Accounts, and um, you want to click Create a New Account. So I'm just going to create mine, and it'll be called David will be my username. Click on Next. You can choose Computer Administrator or Limited. I suggest Computer Administrator. Click on Create Account. And then, I don't know why my picture is a flower, I'm going to change that. And from here you can actually change your username, uh, the username of that account. Create a password, which I highly recommend, so I'm going to create a password for this account. And then you can also type in a password hint, so create password. Uh, and change the picture, change it to whatever you want. And now when we log out, Uh, my account will be there, and if you ever want to log in as an administrator again, what you need to do is press on uh, Control Alt Delete tw twice in a row, and you can log in as an administrator, and you'll get the old login screen. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope to help you guys install Windows XP. If you have any questions or concerns, or you need any help with anything, uh, just comment, um, rate this video, subscribe to me if you like this video and, li and would like to see more. You can request videos, uh, personal message me, or leave a comment on this video. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I should come out with another tutorial soon.